Fox 5 Honor Flight Southern Nevada is sponsored by America First Credit Union and Southern Nevada Toyota dealers. A plane ride brought some Southern Nevada veterans to tears. It was the final leg of an honor flight trip to tour war memorials in Washington, D.C. And Fox 5 went along and we've been sharing stories of what some call the trip of a lifetime. Fox 5's Joe V. Hill was with the group and has our final story on what happened on the plane ride back home. Honor Flight Southern Nevada veterans say the trip was full of surprises. No one expected that waiting in line, of all things, in Baltimore to return home would turn into a memorable moment. Another veteran passing through the airport saw Nevada veterans and felt compelled to shake their hands and thank them for their service. Miss Charlene Bootson, 72, Navy, 1970 to 1974, Vietnam. And probably the biggest surprise happened more than 30,000 feet in the air somewhere over Colorado. During World War II and the Korean and Vietnam Wars, mail call was a big deal. When many of these men and women served, one of the things they looked forward to was an opportunity to get mail from home. The vets were again surprised by packages of letters from family and friends, and not just one or two letters and cards, but stacks of them. This has to be my favorite from Mateo. Alan Zack, Vietnam veteran and Coast Guard member, was touched by several letters from young students. David drew a picture of Zack on a boat. When I grow up, I want to be in the Coast Guard. <laughs> but the unexpected show of support was a little overwhelming as the honor flight photographer consoled Vietnam veteran John Alley during mail call. So are you okay? Uh, no? No. What does it mean to you to get these letters? I didn't know that that many people cared. You didn't know that that many people cared? Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people care. Yeah. yeah, I see that, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. It's a fighter jet. Oh. <laughs> Kim Duclo read a letter to her dad, Vietnam veteran Michael Morgan, from his great-grandson and great-granddaughter and his granddaughter. It says, happy birthday. I love you, Papa. Thank you. I never said thank you enough for not only being the best Papa, but for being my American hero. Thank you, because you have not just been a father. You have been a constant source of love, support, and guidance. You have been and will always be my role model. With all my love, your son, Mike C. Mooney, Sr. Uh, he never even mentioned this, none of this before. It's the first time. You know, I knew he loved me and still cared about me, but he never said it in these words, man. I'm so grateful, I'm so thankful, I'm so blessed. A final surprise for so many hearing words they haven't heard before. It was the end of a trip that was much more than something to write home about, but something to talk about. I can't believe that many people honor me, old Donald Kaplan. Laugh about, <laughs> even shed tears about for years of service to their country. Joe B. Hill, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.